All right, everybody, welcome to the video here. This is gonna be the video where we go over the mechanical strategy for the week of September the 5th through the 9th. So we're gonna kind of cover the uh, mechanical strategy. This is episode two. And we're gonna see how it did this week. What is today? Today's actually the 8th, 5th through the 8th. So we had a four day week this week because we had the uh, Monday holiday. So let's just go through and mark these out and see if they would have been winners or losers. So all we're looking for is the low. So there's the low. And if you're unfamiliar with the strategy, we're going to mark out the low and the high between 930, 945. Then all we're doing is we are taking the breakout of either the high or the low between 930 and 945. And we're looking for a strict 2.5 to 1 risk to reward here. So we're going to have a 15 handle stop loss and a 38 handle take profit. All right. Once we move into profit, we are going to move our stop. Once we hit 20 handles in profit, we move our stop into plus 10. Once we hit 30 handles, we move our stop to plus 20. Once we reach 35 handles, we move our stop to plus 30. And then obviously the next, the next one is the target there. So kind of marking out the high and the low here. Let me get the right one. So here's the high and the low. And all we're looking for is to see which broke out of the high or the low first. Which way did it go? So obviously you can see it broke out right here through the bottom of the low there. And then it just bounced right back up. So this is a loser for Tuesday. So on Tuesday, we lose 15 handles. Now, if you guys forgot, last week, I do believe we had three winners and two losers out of the five days. And this strategy runs at about 50%. So we're looking for this to maintain that 50% level in order for it to be a profitable strategy. You know, there could be a better way of doing this as far as like reviewing these trades. It's not very many um, trades here, so I'm just going to manually go through them. It doesn't take that long to uh, get through these charts. So now we're going to look for the low and the high between 930 and 945. So the low is there. And then the high... We always use the 940. That's interesting. Look, the high is the exact same. That's interesting. We always use the 944 candle because the 945 candle opens up. It opened up here. So, so once again, you can see we, we went through the top, just kind of speared through there, pulled back. Now, one thing I can tell you about this day is this was a news-heavy day as well as Tuesday. Tuesday and Wednesday were news-heavy days this week. So, I'm not, I, haven't, I haven't really study the strategy to see if the news heavy days make a big of a difference or not. There was also a pivot on this day at 12. So as you can see, we kind of hit the pivot and just reject it. But following the rules, this would be a loser. It pushed through. We had news at exactly 945 and at 10 a.m. So you can see what happened at the 10 a.m. news. It shot through the bottom and sold off pretty, pretty healthy there. But this is still a loser. So on Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday at this point, we lose 15 handles. So let's move on to the next. Get on over to Thursday's action. See what happens. Now I did take these trades every day this week and I did follow the rules every day this week. Unlike last week. Last week I did not follow the rules and it ended up costing me on my profit last week should have profited a lot more. Uh, this strategy last week paid you $2,200, I believe. I'll have to check that. I know it was right at $2,000 something dollars. Little low end of the 2000 there. All right, we opened up there at 930. That's the low. And let's find the high. 945, so that's 37, 41, 42. So here's the high right there so in this particular instance I actually really like this because I like the fact that 
we traded back down into the range and kind of did some consolidation first. Okay. So we're looking for 38 handles. So we get long right here at 241 and 38 handles would be 279. So did we get it? Traded up to 281. So in this particular case, we got a winner, 38 handles. And this also worked out. You can see that none of these candles pulled back very far. So at 20, so 41 to 61. So at 61, you would have moved your stop to 51. All right, never came back and got it. Then at 71, you would have moved your top stop to 61, never came back and got it, so on and so forth until you got your 38 handles of profit. So now that's one winner, two losers for this week. Let's move on to today's action. Today is Friday at the time of the recording of this video. Of course, I already know what happens, but I'm not going to spoil it. We're going to go ahead and go over it with you guys and well, let's see what we get. So here is today's action. So we opened up here. So let's see. There's the low. Obviously, it didn't take the low. And let's find our high. I'm looking for the 944 candle. Right. Oh, well, the high was right here. Right there. So what happened? It pushed above it. So it filled us here. We got a 15 handle stop. So if it pushed through at 58 and then pulled back into the range down to 36, we got stopped out for a loser. So to th this week, we are in the red. So we had three losers, which is 45 handles. Now this does give you an indication as to how, how small you don't, you know, it's a short week, first of all, only four days. But my point is, this is this gives you an indication of with this size of risk to reward, um, how small your winning percentage needs to be. So we lost 45 handles this week on this trades on these this strategy, and we gained 38 handles. So that means we only lost seven handles which is hundred and forty dollars now if you remember last week we were up we'll just call it two thousand dollars from last week I don't know the exact number and this week we're down 140 so we're still up eighteen hundred and sixty dollars between the two weeks this week we had three losers and one winner so one winner three losers last week we had three winners and two losers so if we uh, if we do the math on that we now have four winners and five losers in the last nine days. So, like I said, this strategy works out to be right around 55%, and we would still be up $1,860 on one contract, and that's with our percentage being on the losing side of it. If it switches next week and we have another three winning days, two losing days, we're gonna see massive profit. Even if we only have two winning days next week, next week and three losing days, uh, we're still gonna see quite a bit of profit. So still just forward testing this. We're going to take these strategies and implement them every single day. And I am taking these strategies. I'm taking this strategy and using it on a funded account. I took it today. I took it today for a $300 loser on each account. So we are using the strategy actively. And um, I am forward testing another strategy as well that I'm probably going to make a separate video on and kind of go over that stuff with you guys as well. If you are interested in trading futures, we do have the link to Top Step down below. Use my link for Top Step. Currently, the trading combine is $49, but if it's your first time signing up and use my link, you will get it for $39 a month. So I'm not quite sure how long that's going to be lasting, but something to think about, link down below. We are currently in the mid-240s on our subscribers. We're trying to push up into that 1,000 range. So if you guys could help me out if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me. And other than that, we will be back live Monday. We do trade live five days a week if you're just now joining us. 9.15 a.m. if you want to see this strategy implemented live, join me and uh, watch what we got going on there. But other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, we will be back for episode three 
next Saturday. And we'll see how next week went. Have a great day.